kids and their mental health. More definitely needs to be done about this. And for parents, we've got some resources that just may help. Here with more on these resources, the Assistant Director of Social Emotional Learning at By the Hand Club for Kids, Daniel Bell. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me. We were talking about this study that recently came out that just said that basically the mental health of teens is on the on a massive decline. And, and what are the, some of the reasons behind all this? Yeah, well, I mean, if we're looking at the pandemic that recently happened, a lot of kids are still trying to come out of that. So making up for the lost time of learning and then also trying to reestablish those social and emotional relationships with their peers. Mm -hmm. um, and so now we're heading into those summer months, right? And so thousands of kids that rely on all those supports they have at school, now they're more isolated. So it kind of puts them more at risk for these challenges. Mm. Yeah, tell us more about your overall work with CPS students and, and what you're seeing. Absolutely. So as assistant um, director of social emotional learning, so I have a caseload of about 30 students that I work with throughout each week. Um, and then I also do some staff development with our whole organization. And so some of the struggles that I'm seeing with kids have to do with anger management, um, not responding to conflict in healthy ways, mm -hmm. and then also sometimes needing grief and loss support. Mm -hmm. And so these different challenges um, definitely impact their mental health. But what I've realized, though, is there's a profound impact that their mindset can have on how they take on those challenges. Yeah, I think I was looking at it's it's a uh, fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Explain the two to me. Absolutely. So a fixed mindset is where someone believes that their intelligence, their capabilities, that's kind of inherently anchored into who they are. Right. Right. So they feel like it can't be changed. Mm -hmm. And then a growth mindset is something where they believe their capabilities, their intelligence can be fostered through hard work, through perseverance and pushing through those challenges. Right. And so we've learned, you know, and I've really seen when a kid has that growth mindset, mm -hmm. they believe in themselves, mm -hmm. they value their worth more, oh. and they're more willing to take on those challenges. Interesting. Yeah, I, I know that summer is kind of a time to relax. The kids aren't in school, so parents might not be exactly looking out for these, you know, concerns. Yeah. But you're saying that you don't have to be a professional to be able to help your children. Yeah, absolutely. So there's some really simple tools that parents can use at home to yeah. help foster this growth mindset. So the first one I would say is praising effort mm. over intelligence. Okay. Ah. So we want to avoid those praise statements like you're so smart or you're so intelligent because right. let's say that's all a child hears yeah. and then they let's say they fail a test, right? They might think, well, am I not smart? So instead we want to focus those praise statements on uh, the effort that they you put in. So hard. Exactly. Mm, yeah. I'm so right. proud of the effort you pushed through to achieve that. Yeah. That yeah. makes a huge difference. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking about all the time. <laughs> So no, 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 we're telling them they're smart. <laughs> okay, uh, um, embrace imperfection. Yes, embracing imperfection is huge, and that's basically encouraging your kids that, guess what, failure, mm -hmm. mistakes, that's part of the growing process, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And so however you can create that safe space for your child to feel like, you know what, if I make a mistake, if I fail, that's part of the mm -hmm. process. I can then reflect on those mistakes um, to then, you know, improve in the next time. So it kind of creates that psychological safety, yeah. knowing that, you know what, if I mess up, it's going to be okay. It really sounds like you're asking parents to pay attention to their language, like words yes. matter here. Oh, words are huge. Yeah. And I actually want to focus a little bit on the language that kids use towards themselves and oh. how we can encourage that. Wow. So there's this thing called positive self-talk, right? Yep. So um, it sounds really simple, but it's incredibly profound. So let's say a child is constantly speaking negativity over themselves, mm -hmm. right? Like, oh, what if I make a mistake? What if people laugh? What if I fail? Um, instead, we want to, you know, encourage them to speak positively over, over themselves, yeah. right? So when they have that positivity, they're more encouraged, um, you know, to take on those challenges. It's such, a, it's such a difficult time for kids, too, because also you're talking about kids who are starting puberty or in the middle of puberty mm -hmm. and having to deal with all these emotions. It's, how do you grapple with this is part of the growing process and maybe you are having some, like, teen angst versus mm -hmm. actual depression? Yeah, so, I mean, it's really important that if you do feel like your child is struggling with some more intense, you know, mental health struggles, they should, you know, seek professional help. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of services out there where you can get screened, you can talk to professionals, and, you know, that's, like, what, I, what I'm doing at By the Hand, right, mm -hmm. is now, you know, we're this holistic after-school program, and now I'm able to uh, provide for these social and emotional needs for our kids. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so just it's important to make sure you reach out for professional support if you're concerned. Okay. And if someone's watching and they want to get involved with, you know, By the Hand Club, how do they do that? Yeah, so at By the Hand, we believe in the power of one. Okay. Um, and so one relationship, one gift, one prayer, 
Um, one conversation can literally make all the difference in the world for a child. Yeah. And so you can go to our website, bythehand.org. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see how you can be that power of one through giving, volunteering, or even checking out our open positions we have because we are hiring as well. Yes. What, what are you guys doing for kids during the summer? Because you're talking talk a lot about CVS schools, but since they're not in school, can they, are they still seeing you guys? Yeah, so actually yesterday we just launched our summer programming, awesome. our summer camp. So it's a little bit different than the school year. We try to have a lot more fun, but we still have our main components like literacy, social and emotional learning, um, God's time because we're faith based. Yep. So but we yeah. do a lot of fun field trips, enrichments. We so love that, absolutely. Daniel. Thank you so much they for all that. your hard yeah. work. And if you're interested in any of those summer programs, go to bythehand.org. Thank you again so awesome. much. Awesome. Thanks so much.